Hey, Sneak Lens Man tonight. Tonight we've got Rip Linux. Not Blue Linux, but Rip Linux, which means recovery is possible. It's a rescue CD, stroke DVD, or USB, what you want to do with it. And I'm going to show you through it. So we're going to set up first, and we're going to get a wire connection set up first. Because if you're going to recover a partition from somewhere, or any information, and the old drive might just be a CD-ROM or a DVD-ROM, you ain't going to be able to back it up, are you, really? So we can back it up to a cloud storage situation sort of thing. So anyway, I've got my little wired network set up now. We'll go back to setup. I'll show you a bit more. So you set up your wired and wireless connections. Elsa, Mail, Flash Player, Firefox, Java, Thunderbird, Chrome. Take a window, get rid of your temporary files, change the keyboard, plenty of stuff there for Windows stuff, Regidit, etc. etc. You can download. Remember, this all goes into RAM. It's not running from the disk. So once you've installed it, basically, you can get rid of the disk, and if you've got a CDRW, you can actually put it onto disk. Now, I've opted to install Opera here for a change. Now, my net connection is terrible, so I'm going to jump this bit in a second, and as you'll see, it'll go right to the end. Otherwise, it'll be here all day. There we go, look. So, I've installed Opera, almost. There we go. All I do, I can type it, type it in the terminal, or go from the menu. So, I'm going to click OK, just like that. I'm going to open up again, which is a right click. I've got to tell you that, didn't I? You right click to get you a menu up. And we're going to start Opera. Now, Opera looks really nice, as you can see. Very underrated. But this new one looks really, 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 really good. 10.6.0. Very, very good. Still beta, though. Still beta. Anyway, that's that bit out of the way. Now, what else has Rip Linux got for you? Well, you've got System Monitor. Loads of stuff here for showing your memory and your disk space usage. System Processes. Now, look at this. All in RAM, like 72 meg, no processor, not using any swap of the hard drive in the machine. And I've got some swap on it actually. But obviously, it's not touching it because you don't want to touch that disk really unless you actually have to, do you? Very good indeedy. Applications, archiver, fire roller, editors, they're nearly all there. Look at that, loads and loads of them. File Manager, Midnight Commander, and PC Men. File Tools, ooh, this one, graphics. A couple there. Miscellaneous, some ISO master and XF burn. You'll need them if you want to burn some disk, obviously. Network, mail, news readers, etc. I'm not sure if I can do all that. One bad thing, in Office there's no actual document, proper document viewer. So if you had something in doc, say, say a Microsoft Word file, you can't actually see it while you're running this. Bad, bad, bad. Bit of Abbey Word would have been good there. It's really, really tiny, the basic one, so it would have been good. G parted there, Grub 2's there, parted, parted image, very good. Photo recovery or photo rec. I'll quickly show you this. Basically, you click on it, you select a disk you want to recover the photos from, and it'll just go and look for them and get them all for you. And you can just get them all off the system, and then your customer will be like, You are God. Thank you very much. Because people just don't back up, do they really? Let's be honest. You just don't. Applications again. Okay. Partition tools. We've just been down there. Right. Test list. I actually used this this evening on a customer's system. It was the only one out of four I used that actually detected that there was a problem with the hard disk that's only 14 days old. Mm. And it detects all these file systems like Intel, EFI, Mac, non partition media, Sun, and even Xbox. My oh, son, I love that one. Just click return. I'm not going to run it because I've got nothing on the disk really for you to look at, really, to say to say. So we'll quit that and we'll go and find something else for you. And there's plenty of it to look at. This is just a bit of an overview for you, more anything else. So, view docs. So I'll click on View Docs, it takes you to the File Manager, and you just go down there, look, plenty there to look at. This is all from the disk, by the way, because it's running the live CD, so to say. OK, we'll do that again. <coughs> now when we view the manual pages, now this is what happens. You click OK, and you wait and wait, and you think it's not going to work. And it's, in fact, it is working, but we're just too impatient, like me, look. Now look. It gives you a brief description of everything that's on here, which is really, really good. So if you're not used to doing things, it's a good way to learn stuff. So resize to FS, which means resize your files, resize your file systems. It's only in basic text, but it's all you need to know, really, isn't it? All you really need to know. Super, super, super duper. And there's loads and loads of stuff on that. Beaver and shoot and bar and clint and disk. And all the words that you look at sometimes you go, what the bloody hell does that mean? Well, if you do it here, it will tell you all about it. No problemo. Okay, back to the menu again. We've got run command, change terminal, 8 of, window management, just restart, and power down or reboot. Very, very, very good. As I said to you today, I've used this today, and it's very, very good. Nice one over in your boxes. Really, really, really good. 
and this is the other thing I have to use today. So the bias information of the system I was using, which I found it was really badly overheating, and some of the things were just not working correctly. But this is, as I'm laying the box now, it ain't going to show you anything that's interesting. <clears throat> but if you run it on your own system from the live 3D, you'll find out lots and lots and lots and lots. Back to applications, we're nearly finished now. <clears throat> as I said before, loads of top-down applications. You go down, you've got sound, things like that, and an audio player, which is you want one. True Crypt is here, so if it's an encrypted volume, you need to get stuff off, easy peasy. On the whole, bloody brilliant disc. Keep it in your box, you'll love it. Sneaky Linux out.